Sorry, Brooke, I can't do this. They'll take my babies away. Brooke, that won't happen. I hope to God it doesn't happen, but even if it does, I can't walk into a courtroom and say I'm the father of your baby. Edmund! Not no, what you think. no, you stay away from no, me. Listen, Edmund, sorry. don't you dare sorry. apologize to me. Uh, look, it's not what you no, think. I'm not me. sleeping tell me, with Edmund. Brooke. <laughs> tell me how long you've been sleeping with her. I'm... Just tell me how, how pregnant is she. I mean, she doesn't look like she's showing. I'm not stuff. sleeping with reason. Brooke. I haven't slept with her since before. No, I heard before. you, she's Edmund. I heard you no, say you it. I heard it. disgusting. How could I misunderstand? You said father or a child. That's pretty straightforward. Maria, honey, listen to me. No, I heard you. I heard you the first time, loud and clear. You said you wouldn't stand up in court and admit that you're the father of her child. The least that you could do, the least that you could do is admit it to me, Edmund. There's nothing to admit. That's the point. No, I'm not going to confess to something I didn't to do. I'm not stop lying. It. So that she's not pregnant? Yes, she is pregnant, but I'm not the father. Oh, right. Oh, of course not. No, she just came down here in person to subpoena you to her custody here. Look, the only person that could possibly be carrying my child is you. You're the only woman that I have made love to. In the last year, I swear to you, I did not sleep with Brooke. Why don't I believe you? Why don't I believe you? Brooke, would you tell her, please? Look, I'm not going to hear any more no, than Brooke, this. Brooke, just tell her the <laughs> truth. Tell her she's wrong. Brooke. Brooke, t tell her I'm not the father of this baby. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Look, what are you doing? I suppose I should thank you. No, 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 no. Come here, please. No, don't. Listen to me. Look at me. No, you're not going to charm your way Look out of this, me. Edmund. Look at me. You know me. You know me inside and out. You know I'm telling the truth here. Remember... How I reacted when Tad and Dixie had the affair? Yes, so. So I'm not a hypocrite. Now, would I react this way and come down so hard on them if I was doing the same I thing? I know. Maybe this is just the perfect way to pay Tad back. Oh, come on. You know me. Come on. I'm not like that. You've been with me every step of the way. You know how I feel. I've been honest with you about Brooke and you, but you know that I love you. You're the woman that I want to marry. You know that. Do you have anything to say? No. I would like to hear your side of the story, Brooke. Why don't you tell me? I told my side of the story to a whole courtroom full of people. Today. It's public record. You can look it up if you no, want. No, you tell me. You tell me here and now. Tad doesn't have any parental rights to this child I'm carrying because he's not the father. And Edmund is. Why can't you say it to my face, Brooke? Because it's not the truth. Tell her. I've said all I have to say. Would you just tell her the real reason why you came here? You wanted me to lie for you. Now tell her that! Well, she, how can she get away with it if it's not true? They're a paternity test. Look, look at her. Look at her. She's... she's... She hasn't thought this through, okay? She's obviously desperate. No, you're the one who sounds desperate to me. No, no, no. She just got back from custody hearing Brooke. Brooke, look at me. Now, I know this is rough, okay? I know what Tad's done to you, and if it was up to me, he would never see Jamie again. But please, honey, look at what you're doing to me. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt anyone. Well, you know what? You'll excuse me if I don't feel for you. I don't have any choice. Brooke. Brooke, you're throwing your integrity away. Now, what are you doing to me? Have you thought about what this is doing to me? You said that you love me. You, a part of you would always love me, remember? Is this how you treat somebody you love? Do you lie to them? Do you ask them to lie? You take advantage of them? You completely ignore what they want? Brooke, this is not... This is not you. Not the Brooke that I knew. She would never do this. Never. 
You are lying, aren't you? You are lying, aren't you? He's not the father of your child. Tell me, Brooke. You can't admit it even now. Brooke, how many times did I tell you to come back to me? How many times? I would have done anything for you. I would have given you anything in the world. And now? Now, because you need me, you're ready to damn my life to hell? Doesn't it matter that I'm happy with Maria? Doesn't that mean anything to you? You would just ruin that just to get what you want. You, of all people, should understand. I don't understand anything about you anymore. I can't worry about other people's feelings. I did that. I put everybody else first. And look what it got me. I could stand to lose all that I have that matters to me. I could lose my children. Why don't you understand it? I can't lose them. Why didn't you come to me with all this when I came to you New Year's Eve? Why did you wait till now? You went to Brooke on New Year's Eve. You asked her to go back to you, didn't you? Didn't you? You went to Brooks on New Year's Eve. Did you ask her to marry you? Did my name even come up, Edmund? I can explain this. Are you can explain? How can you explain? <laughs> How can you explain? Explain what? That, that you were ready and willing to just walk out on me less than three weeks ago? Can you explain to me why you came over my house that night and acted as if you were more in love with me than ever before and how so suddenly you just decided that you were so eager to jump on the next plane to Las Vegas so that we could elope? Honey, that has nothing Edmund, to do with... can you explain to me why I shouldn't feel like, like the consolation prize for the for the umpteenth time. Can you? Go ahead, I mean, give it your best shot. Give it your best shot, explain it all. Brooke, could you leave us alone for a minute? Maria, you gotta believe me that I do love you. Why the hell should I? Because it's true. It's true. Look, I know how good I've got a thing here with you and Brooke. Just... Brooke, it's just, it's just all her fault. No, no, it's not Brooke's fault. It's mine. It's mine. I did an incredibly stupid thing and I went over there because I had to know if there was a chance that... I found out it's over. It's over. Because Brooke said no? No. Because I don't love her anymore. Because I love you. Yeah, you just keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it. Look, the woman that just left here is not the Brooke that I used to love. I mean, she's a stranger. You saw her. She was lying. She doesn't care who gets hurt. But you, baby. Me, I'm just the safety net. I am the idiot that just lets this go on. You are not and an on. Idiot. I'm the fool who believed all of these lines they were that defend me. Lines. Brooke is part of my past. How about that one? Yeah, I knew that that wasn't entirely true. I knew that you were still a little bit hung up on her. I couldn't deny that. I just thought that that I, I would learn to live with it, or, or that maybe eventually it would go away. And it did. No! <laughs> oh, I don't know what possessed me to.
to, to let this go on as long as it did. I, I shouldn't have said yes to a second date, much less a proposal. Maria, we have something incredible here. Don't talk to yourself. Oh, you, you know what? You, you didn't even... You, you, you even proposed to me on, on a whim. There was no romantic setup. There was no flowers. There was just, just you banging on my door in the middle of the night. And, and the only reason why you stuck with me is because you couldn't have Brooke. You never stopped trying to win her back. That is not true. Ever. I am over, Brooke. You have to believe me. It's over. If I hear that one more time from you, Edmund, I am going to scream. Do you understand me? I will not be somebody's leftovers. You're not. You're not. I'm a jackass. Yes, you are. But thank goodness I... I found out in time before I stood up before God and my family and friends and took vows that I believed that I would have meant but not you 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 never meant a single yes, word I you would. ever you, said to me that's not me. true I would have meant everything I will mean those vows as much as you I swear to you it on Brooke. With Brooke. It is over with Brooke. It's done. It's finished. Well, that's perfect. You see, it's perfect, Edmund, because you get what you deserve. Nothing. No one. I've considered this our last conversation. You have a nice life. Can't walk out of me, please. Took you for granted, honey, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I will never do that again. Never. I'll make sure that it never happens to you. Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Brooke is gone. She's out of the picture. She's going to Hawaii. And I'm staying right here. Right here to give you the love and attention that you deserve because I love you. I will spend the rest of my life making it up to you if you can just forgive me. hard to forgive me once, and you will never have to do it again. Trust me. How can I? How can I? I can never be sure, really sure, that Brooke is ever out of your system. Did I interrupt something? Um, you shouldn't be out of bed, Dimitri. You just got home from the hospital a couple hours ago. You should be taking it easy. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not very good at relaxing. Maria. Yeah. 